welcome to the tutorial. Today we're going to be building a nice little C-Class fighter. It's a very small ship, but it's got a ton of power. It's fast, and it's got all the firepower you can use. To build this ship, we're going to want to go to the Soul System. And we're going to go to Moon of Saturn Titan. And then New Homestead. Now we're ready to build this little ship. I got all the parts and pieces here with it all torn apart. So to start with, we are going to place our lander, which is the NG-6 landing bay. To this, we want to attach our grav drive, which is the Aurora 12G is the one I chose. Of course, you can pick any grav drive you want far as that goes. Alright, next thing we're going to want to place is our first tab, which is going to be the Nova Galactic Control Station 2x1. This gives us four cruise stations. We're going to place it up front here. Then, to the back of that, we want to put the Nova Galactic Companionway 1x1. One one. This will be the entrance to our landing bay and our docker. Then, for the docker, we're using the NG2 docker top. And just stick it right on top of that companionway. Then, next thing we want to add is our helium tanks. And I went with the 500T helium-3 tank. It goes there. Then on top of that, we're going to want to put our shield. I went with the Assurance SG-1800 shield generator. Um, some of these parts you do have to have experimental with. Now let's go ahead and place our first landing gear, which is going to be the NG-20 landing gear 4. It goes right under that. We'll put our cockpit next, the Magellan C2X cockpit. Then on this side over here, we want to go ahead and put the Nova Galactic living quarters two by one there. And on the opposite side, we're gonna put our cargo. I went with the Galleon S204 cargo holds which gives us a ton of storage. Then underneath that, we're gonna to wanna to put our next set of landing gears, which is the NG-20 landing gears. Now, let's start adding some wings. So first, the Nova Cowling 2LPF, and one of those each side, PF and SF. Then, behind that, we're going to want to do the same thing again. The 2LPF there, and the 2LSF on the other side. Then, for the top, we're going to want to put a 2LPF up here like that. And behind that, we want the 2LPM Novacal. Then match the same on the other side. Now let's finish out the top here. We're going to go with a Cowling 2LTM and a Cowling 1LTF. Now let's finish off the back end, give this some power and motors. So I went with the SF-40 Sheared Flow Reactor. Of course, like I say, you can use whatever reactor you like. Then, beside that, I went with Poseidon DT-230 engine, one on each side there. And then, finally, the Ares DT-10 engine. Now, the only thing left is to put armament on this thing. So, I went with the 
Atlatl 280C missile launcher. Packs the most punch and has the furthest range. And I went with three of these. One on each side of that cowling there and then one under the cockpit. Then I went with lasers. I went with the Blaze 2GW SX laser, one on each side of the cockpit, and then one on top. Of course, as you can see, there's you can put weapons wherever you want. And then finally, to round it off, we have the Disruptor 3340A Auto Alpha turrets. These you don't have to worry about. They will do whatever they want. Of course, when you first get them, I believe they come facing forward like that. You just want to flip them around to the back. And I added two of those. One there. And the other on the opposite side. Anything gets behind you, it is not going to last long. All right, that's the ship. Thank you for watching the tutorial. Please hit the like and subscribe button if you would not mind. And there are links here uh, to some of my other shipbuilding tutorials.